Well, howdy. Today we'll be going through the process of creating a simple key fob uh, in AutoCAD, which we will export as DXF for laser cutting. Now, in this specification, I will be using um, 40 millimeters as a maximum height and width. Okay. So I set that value. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. And I will be working off of an offset with this button right here, value of 10 millimeters. Okay. So I want to offset 10 millimeters twice. And I would also like to draw a line from here to here and then go down 10 millimeters and from there to there now i know this doesn't look like much right off the bat but we're going to clear some things out that we won't be using anymore and then we're going to perform a fillet operation. Now the fillet does create a curved connection between two lines, but we need to type R to specify a radius value. We would like that radius to be 10 millimeters. Okay. So next I will select these two objects and then I will repeat the fillet command again and select these two objects. And then finally, I will repeat the fillet for a third time and select these two objects. I could go ahead and use the mirror command at this time. And I'll just drag a crossing window over all of those objects only. Press enter. And it asks me to specify the first point of my mirror line. I will use that. And the bottom portion of the line as a second point it asks to, to erase the source objects we're going to click no at that point in time we are ready to draw a 10 millimeter circle and I want to hover this edge but then drag polar to snap right there and specify the radius value of five, which gives me a 10 millimeter diameter. So I could then delete that center line, which I use, and perhaps even go in and put my name or initials in there. Let's try specify start point with some text, specify height of the text, and a rotation angle of zero, enter, and DP for, or DC for David Seamer. Nearly forgot my name. Let's try again. Uh, middle name is Paul. Single line text. And the height and the rotation angle of zero. Now, D. C for David Seamer, click a blank point and press escape on my keyboard. I can move that to where it's closer to the center as well. This object is ready to save as DXF. So from this menu, I would choose AutoCAD 2013 DXF, and I will call it Key Fob. Now that DXF called Key Fob can be loaded into a laser cutter, and I can make my own custom Key Fob 